So this story from 10 years ago with a stepson killing the stepfather is now trending, and here's why. ...of 19-year-old Antonio Hicks charged with killing Air Force Sergeant Johnny Clyburn last Tuesday is speaking out. She believes her son was simply jealous of the love she had for the decorated sergeant. Clyburn was engaged to Hicks' mother, and she calls her son a monster, wishing he could be sentenced to death for his heinous crime. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the story. It's hard to imagine any mother wishing her own son could get the death penalty, but Nicolina Pace says not many mothers have seen what she has witnessed. To me, he's a monster. You were smart enough not to shoot yourself like that. You knew exactly what you were doing. Nicolina Pace is talking about her 19-year-old son, Antonio Hicks, who allegedly shot the man she was so eager to marry, her soulmate, Air Force Sergeant Johnny Clyburn. I think the devil was in Antonio, and I think he was jealous. I think he was jealous that... He had to leave, because he knew he had to leave. We were planning a wedding, we didn't want you here. He knew he had to leave. And John was not gonna take care of a grown man that couldn't even, that wasn't even trying to help himself. Nicolina says her fiance was her everything, their love like a fairy tale. And she says all John ever tried to do was help her son who was never diagnosed with a mental condition. But she and John thought the 19 year old had some sort of problem. And John tried to help him get on social security. But Nicolina says her son never followed through. And he resented that he was going to have to move to Florida to live with his father. If he does have met schizophrenia, schizophrenia and mental illness, he gives those people a bad name. I don't even believe he has that. I just think he has the devil in him. The day after Memorial Day when Sergeant Clyburn got home from work, he was in the basement cleaning up something Antonio broke. And so John turned around to see what Antonio want. That's when Antonio shot him. Nicolina says she started hitting Antonio. He left the basement, but then came back. What do you think made him come back downstairs? Because I think he still thought John was alive. And Nicolina does not waver when she says she wishes her son could get the death penalty. Like a petition or something where he can get the death penalty and we can make an example out of him. And I would be the first person to put my signature at the top. I don't think he deserves to be here. He knew how in love we were. So why destroy it? It's like he think he, he walked away with some, look what I took from you. He wanted to do this. I believe it was purposely done. I believe it he thought about it. It was probably premeditated. And to anyone who has ever loved John, Nicolina says she is sorry for what her son has done. Stories like this are exactly why most men won't be stepfathers because they don't want to deal with any crazy son husbands. In this situation, it was a crazy son husband dynamic going on here. But a lot of people gave their thoughts on this situation from 10 years ago. And it seems like most people are not happy with mom. I'll, I'll give you a few examples. Let's talk about Antonio Hicks, because honestly, my heart really and truly goes out to this young man. And I really hope that he can find peace and he could begin to heal because this wasn't the actions of mental health. This was the actions of 19 years of being unloved, 19 years of being hurt, emotional abuse, and his mother constantly picking different men over him. A lot of you parents out here, y'all have children that is men. And because for whatever reason, it does not work. Y'all forget about y'all children. Y'all take it out on y'all children. And y'all emotionally, mentally, and physically abuse them because they somehow resemble the man that you chose to lay down and have a kid by. Then y'all be having so much hurt into y'all heart. And instead of y'all doing the work and actually healing, y'all go off and take it out on y'all children and go from men to men to men to men to men to men to men. So you came on national TV and you said that it was you and your husband was planning a marriage and Antonio was not going to be a part of it. First of all, I'm not having a wedding if my children are not a part of it. That's just that. You thought that when you and your husband said I do, that your parental rights automatically just terminate and that you were going to go see him somewhere he didn't want to be at. And you and your husband was going to go to the moon and live and be happily ever after. That's not how that works, Miss Ma'am. That's not how it works. Then you come on national TV and say that your son, if they do a petition to have him unalive, your name's going to be the first one on him. On there, you hate that young man that much? You hate him that much? I don't give a fuck what my son did. I'm not giving nobody the satisfaction to unalive my child. I can only imagine what you said and did to this young man behind closed doors. Because you came on national TV and you said so in so many words that you really hate this boy. 
If I can only imagine the emotional, verbally abuse that you have given him. And then your husband, I doubt that he didn't play a part. I know he played a part in it too because you sat there and you allowed this woman to say that, oh, she's going to go ahead and just give her son off and stop being a mother once y'all get married. You played a part in it too because I doubt that he just took it out on him just to be taken out on him. Y'all both played a part. But it was unfortunately that you had to lose your life because of your woman. And I'm not making it right. But let's hear speak facts. Let's speak facts. If he deserves to die, she do too. So she needs to be right there on the side of there with him. So a couple of things we need to consider about this case. This kid at the time in 2014 was 19. I understand that your mind is still developing until you're 25, scientifically they say, for males. However, he is old enough to know that murder is bad. And he had an option to go to his dad. Realistically, he probably should have been living with his dad. A lot of moms are still having a hard time thinking about a scenario where they give the son to dad if they're having problems with the son. She was clearly having problems with this kid way before he was an adult. She should have sent him to dad. Now, I've seen people say it's possible that she kept him because she was getting child support while he was a minor. And that happens sometimes. And moms, if you're struggling with your son, please send them to their dad if the dad is available. I'm going to say it because y'all scary and I'm not scary because I can't get no whooping. This lady is the reason that her fiance is gone. This lady is not only the perfect example, but she's the definition of a pick me mom. I see y'all already making y'all videos. Mental health is real. Mental health is real. So is child neglect. That lady has been picking men over that boy for 19 years. And I'm going to tell y'all how I know. If y'all listen to her in that interview, she said he was smart enough to know not to pull a gun on himself. She went on to say, if y'all start a petition to give him the chair, I will be the first person to sign it. That lady literally sat on that interview and wished death on her child. That didn't start with this fiance. It was with the man before him and the man before that and the man before that. And that boy snapped. That lady sat on that news and said, we, her and her man, didn't want him here. And now she want to pull a mental health card on us. I hate when people do that because I am also the child of a pick-me parent. Y'all always try to play the mental health card when literally that takes a toll on a person. How can I sit here for 19 years and watch the person that's supposed to love me unconditionally love men back and forth because it didn't just start with that fiance, I'm telling y'all, and not love me that way. Think about it. As a parent, there's no way I can tell y'all to give my child a chair in the same breath I just told y'all he got mental health issues. Make that make sense. Know that when I say this, I am speaking from the heart, baby. As one who was blessed and honored enough to be a vessel of bringing in what is now a teenage boy into this world, I don't give a damn if my boy take the president out. I would never, ever, ever give the world the satisfaction of crucifying my kid. You know why? Because I love my jit without condition. And that's something that she has never displayed to that boy. And he snapped. Now, I'm not saying that it's right. Rest in peace to the person that lost his life. I'm not saying that it's right. What I'm saying is, let's get down to the root of the problem. That bitch the problem. All right, so I get that we want to call people pick me because that's like the new thing to do. Like if a woman wants to have a man, it's now she's a pick me all the time. Well, let's not call this lady a pick me. At the end of the day, you could probably say she's a bad mother. That's fine. That's really what realistically went on there. We don't need to call her pick me. But this kid was 19. He was old enough to know right from wrong. Where he passed old enough. If he was a minor, I would get blaming the mom in this situation. But the damage is already done. You are 19 at the time, sir. So you need to do what's best for you, which would have been to move in with his dad. Not to unalive his stepdad. That that doesn't make sense. So he's obviously a psychopath. Because normal people don't do what he did. Regardless of what your mom did to you. You say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to move on with my life. I don't have to talk to these people ever again. And then that's it. Oh, no. Pick me is 100% a trend. It's actually used to slander women who are married. And women who advocate for men. It's it's definitely an overused term this year and last year. A lot of people have just been calling everybody a pygmy. If you're a woman that is agreeable, you're a pygmy. Like, like pygmy is definitely something that's overused. In this situation, I'm not saying that she's not a pygmy, but that's not the main issue. The main issue is that she's a bad mom. So if you're sending your son to his dad at 19, why didn't you send him to his dad at 14? Because her troubles didn't start when he became 19. He obviously been doing crazy stuff before he was 19. The only thing I can think about considering, you know, the way she speaks about her son is it's possible that she kept the son for child support. 
So if you're a mom who's doing that, in some situations, if the if the kid is bad, you're going to have to give that child support up and send them to their dad. You're doing it at 19, so that tells me that you probably could have done it at 14, and it probably should have been done, done because most of us agree that she doesn't love her son. So if she doesn't love her son, maybe the dad does. So maybe his outcome is different if he goes to live with his dad. Maybe he's not in jail like he is now, or should I say prison, because he's serving 10 plus years. This is It's been over 10 years since he committed this uh, on a live in. And so that's the biggest problem that I'm having with even some of the other people who are making stitches to that original video. It's like, oh, how could a mom want to send away her son? I'm like, this man is 19. That's her adult child. I mean, he's a baby boy mixed with Dexter because, you know, you don't normal people don't do what he did. They'll just say, hey, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm going to go live with my dad. And people say, well, he probably had trauma from mom. And that's true. And that's why I think she should have shipped him up earlier. He should have been out of that house before he was 19. You don't wait till the child support's done and then try to send him to dad. Send those kids to dad early. If you are a single mom with a son and a dad in the picture and your son starts to you know, do crazy psychotic things and he's throwing things all over the place and you know you have a new husband maybe, he's not, he's not his dad. Send him to his dad. Stop holding on to these damn kids that you don't even like for child support because I'm pretty sure that's what's going on in her and what went on in her situation because just for the, the, the way that she really hates her son 